So as a dog groomer, one of the things that I get asked probably the most is typically regarding um, trimming nails. So today I'm just going to show you guys what we have as far as you know what equipment you'll need to trim nails, and then you know kind of and how to. We have Sissy right here. Um, she is thankfully uh, her nails are very long, um, so I'm going to go ahead and use her as my model. Hopefully she'll like to behave today. We'll see about that one. Um, but one thing I can show you is kind of the equipment that I'll be using today, kind of what we want to always have on hand when you're trimming. Um, first, I have the large nail trimmers. Um, so this, depending on the size of the dog, we have a large, um, and then we have a little smaller one. Um, for her, she does have back dew claws um, that kind of circle a little bit. So being able to have this smaller one on hand is definitely nice, even though I typically am going to be using the larger one just to trim it. Um, we do always want to keep some sort of blood clotting um, agent on hand, you know, I'm not super brand specific, I just like to have something, some sort of septic powder that's going to work for me. Um, one other thing that I do have, obviously optional for most homes, is I have a Dremel. Um, so this only cost me about $25 at Walmart, so it's not like I'm bougie by any means, um, but it's a really nice tool to have. Okay, so before we go into trimming, I'm just going to give you a close-up of her nails. You know, I did leave them pretty long just so we could get a good idea. Um, it's definitely easier to tell, um, obviously, when they're clean because they have mud all over them right now. Um, but it's easier to tell when they are longer. So you can see definitely this white part here um, is kind of what we're looking at. But she said no. Um, but all of the excess stuff, you know, you can kind of see how it got in, like a little sharpened here. Um, but the excess is mostly just that white that I'll be trimming off. So I would probably take about half of that off. Can I have your paw? Can I have your paw? She said no. Sissy doesn't want to get her nails trimmed today. I'm just going to nip a little bit off of each of her nails. So basically half of that white part that we were looking at, I can take off. Sissy. Okay. Be a good girl, okay. And not a fan. Not a huge fan of that. Okay, babe. So if you can see here, she does have so pretty big dew claw on the side. Um, that's where I really like to it in here with this tiny little guy because it really does curl around on her and then trying to get that bigger one in there just doesn't quite cut it Hi. <laughs> Good sissy, you look good. As you can see with sissy, I really didn't end up taking a whole heck of a lot off with the trimmers. Typically, I like to go back in and I tend to be able to take off a lot more um, with my Dremel. I, I just wanted to give a really basic intro into, you know, just trimming. Um, you know, less is really more, so get comfortable with it before you go hacking away at them, you know. So hopefully this video helped some of you guys, and if you have any other questions, definitely feel free to drop them below. I'm more than happy to, you know, either make a follow-up video or answer some of the questions in the comments. So if you guys have any, definitely feel free. Um, otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.